Hey, good morning, everyone. Today we're on this rooftop and we have one Addison DHU, another one, and a third one. So this is the one we're gonna be working on today. This is another one of those calls where I'm the fourth or fifth technician out here. And uh, see if I can get some footage of this thing. The uh, complaint is that it is not cooling on circuit one. So you got heat going. Uh, I believe the controls is on the other side. Yep, right here. So let me start uh, opening this up and see what's going on. All right guys, so just giving it a quick visual. Uh, my core sense module was uh, normal. So that's not the problem for us tripping. Um, all of my breakers are good to go. Nothing is tripped. I did have an alarm in here. Um, I just reset the system. So I said one of them was a high pressure alarm. Second one was compressor lockout. So before I do anything, guys, just one of the things I do is I just kind of uh, let it run through its cycle. Let it do whatever it's going to do. Let it go through its time delay and all that. And uh, we'll figure out what she's doing. So just give it a minute here and we'll find out what's going on. System is starting up. Just opened up our outside air dampers. See, they're still opening up. So this is 100% outside air. There it goes, just started the blower motor. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but. All right guys, so this has been on for a few minutes now. Um, it still will not kick on the compressors. And as you can see right here, cooling mode is off. All right guys, so pretty much where we're at is this type of controller is not very user friendly. Um, apparently that's why the other technicians that were out here couldn't get this compressor to cool because our ambient temperature is below 55 degrees. And whenever we're below 55, this, uh, the system will not run in cooling mode. Right now it's just running in heat. You can see right here, I could jump it right here. Compressor kicks on. I'm gonna have to take a few minutes here to figure out how exactly I'm going to do this. Um, it's gonna be a pain to jump the compressor out, jump the board out. Um, this is the output for the compressors. And then find a way to get the signal over here, I mean, I'm sorry, here, so that our outdoor fan can run. So you see here's the uh, outdoor fan. Once the compressor contactor closes, I'm sorry, we're right here, compressor contactor. And you got your DC voltage. So it's gonna be uh it's gonna be tricky. So let me go ahead and try to figure this out. So right here it says cooling mode low limit, outdoor air temperature 60. So I'm gonna see if I can drop this down to I don't know 50. And maybe we'll be able to get this thing on. I changed that to 50 and it went back, just reverted to its original settings and it reverted back to its uh, default factory setting or whatever it's programmed to. So right now the biggest challenge is getting this compressor to run. I have resorted to trickery. I'm gonna try to uh, warm up this sensor one way or another. All right guys. So I finally found a way to do it. Um, so this is compressor number two. I'm not sure if you can see right there, but the fans are running. That's one fan, here's the other. So compressor number two, I got it to run with the fans on, but compressor number one does not kick the fans on. So that's number two right there. We just haven't been able to figure it out because we haven't been able to get them running, which is pretty dumb, but see, this one's running right now. This one was not running when I ran this one, so maybe we have some sort of wiring or sensor issue. It's gonna be interesting. 
All right, guys. So everything's running right now. We're gonna go back to the uh, hand off auto menu. That doesn't mean homeowners association. Hand off auto. So we're gonna go to our compressor number one, and we're gonna hit enter. I'm just gonna choose hand. Enter. Compressor number one should start up. Pretty much what I'm gonna try to do now is I'm gonna try to see if once this compressor starts, see if that BFD is sending the signal for the fans to kick on. That seems like an issue. So compressor two did send the signal and this BFD started uh, running the fans. Compressor one didn't do it earlier. So we'll see what's going on here. All right, so compressor just started. Um, if we look here, we should be getting a DC voltage signal on R. Go black and red. Yep, we're getting 25 volts. And that's it, it's uh, 12 to 30 volts DC. And now let's see if these fans are running. Yep, they're running. Wonder why they weren't running earlier. That's very odd. See, they just shut off. Let's see if this VFD is going in. Yeah, we're still getting voltage. I wonder if this VFD is just not doing its job. So this BFD is not running the fans. We haven't got any amp draw on it. Let's go ahead and check this one real quick. See if we can't isolate one of these wires. I can hear them. I can hear them running. There they go. So let's go see what the amp draw is on this uh, on this set of fans for compressor two. So you see we're drawing some amperage. So. Go ahead and check that voltage signal right here on this one. We got about 25 the same. I just got the wires backwards, that's why it's negative. Come on, get in there. There you go, so we're reading 25 volts DC. You see this one is pulling amps. So I wonder if this VFD is somehow shot. I'm not an expert on VFDs, much less these Addisons. Okay, so it's restarting. Uh, before we go any further, let's just go ahead and check just the basics on this one. So voltage on this one, uh, if you follow your wires, they come from right here. So this is right there, outdoor, outdoor fan one VFD. So we're just gonna check voltage right here. So that's 495. 495, 495, now let's go on the other side of the breaker, 496, 494, and 495. So we have voltage coming into here. All right guys, compressor kicked on, and look what we have here. Let's see if I can get you a better view right there. High pressure switch alarm. So number one is going off on high pressure. Um, I just checked right here on my white wire and I am getting uh, five volts DC and this other wire I'm getting 25 volts DC. So the signal's there. I just don't think this uh, VFD is sending the actual, um, it's not running the fans, so we're gonna have to uh, troubleshoot a little more, but let me reset right, this. Man. Quick, quick call to Edison. Literally took me less than five minutes to get through and five minutes on the phone with a guy. So pretty much I explained to him that I do have my voltage here and my uh, DC voltage right here on white. 
and he concurred that the only things that can be wrong now is either you have a bad drive he said or one of the two fans is um is going bad and it's start stopping the drive from running so what we're gonna do right now is i'm actually going to isolate both of these fans and i'm gonna see if this drive ramps up the drive ramps up and that means that we have an issue on one of these fans all right guys it's a no-go compressor kicked on voltage everywhere uh, drive did not ramp up and i have both of my fans off so according to tech support that's going to be a bad drive before i condemn this vfd I shut the power off to fan motors one and two and three and four. They're not they're not calling to run right now, but I'm just gonna check the resistance um, on on the motors themselves. All right, so we're gonna go straight off the first one on the load side, and we got about 26 ohms and about 26 ohms, 25 ohms second one 25 sucks doing this 26 and one and three 26 so both of these are reading the same 26 ohms let's go ahead and check this third one right here 26 one and three 25 26 Let's check the fourth one now I'm just doing this for uh, for all you guys that are gonna say well did you check the motors make sure that a motor wasn't bad so right now nothing on these motors is showing me that the motors are bad they're all reading 26 ohms across all of them to me that means that those motors are good nothing is uh, grounded or shorted that would be another reason that this wouldn't run so I'm gonna do one more test guys one more test what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna shut the power off to these two fans and we're gonna start compressor number two and we're gonna see if compressor number two ramps up like this one did not just started Let's give it a second we got our voltage right here on black to white Got our voltage. It looks like it's ramping up right there. 20, 31. Let's turn one of these on before it goes into uh, head pressure. There you go. So see that one's ramping up as needed. Let's turn the second one on. See this one wasn't doing that. And we got the same signal on both of these. So now we can determine that we have a bad VFD. See, now that now that the uh, head pressure is coming down, this is dropping down a bit. So there we go, guys. Now we know that this one's bad. I'm going to have to go ahead and contact the monitoring company, let them know that compressor one's going to be down until we get that board, uh, that VFD, and uh, not to put in any more alarms because of it. So... I do want to say one thing guys, I felt pretty dumb today, number one, mainly because I have never messed with one of these controllers and it took me a long time to figure out where any, any of this was, how to put anything on, on auto, override or any of that, so Once I finally was able to get the compressor running, then we could start troubleshooting. But before that, I just felt like an idiot because I was out here for about an hour and a half trying to get the compressor to start, warming up sensors, doing all this nonsense. So, sometimes that's just the way it goes, guys. That's just the way it goes sometimes. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy the content. And we'll see you on the next call, gents.